welcome back to the channel and day two of York we're going to give out some tips for today's racing but just looking back onto yesterday we did the £25 challenge where you had to pick the winner in the first three races no one managed it yesterday so it rolls over to today so if you can pick the winner of the 150 the 225 and the three o'clock at York 25 pounds cash will be coming your way very shortly so make sure you do enter as always all you need to do like the video be subscribed and comment the three winners to get involved and of course it must be before the first race at 150 on the Thursday so you've got plenty of time to get involved and my first tip is actually going to come in the 150 it's not the most com competitive race in all fairness we've seen some stronger annuals in years gone by and I think Bedford Flyer at 11 to 1 might just be an each way player for me trained by Lazar who is local enough to the track and I feel like this horse might have been targeted for this race he's got some very good course form at York he won on this meeting last year just in a different race he won that off a mark of 90 and he won it very well in the end he just blew them away from the front and I think something similar might be on the cards again there's going to be plenty of pairs in this race with Bedford Flyer and Copper Knight but I think the key thing is the draw Bedford Flyer drawn one he can get right up against the stands rail and I think that could definitely suit this horse looking on yesterday's action on day one of York it definitely seemed to suit being on the far side of the track as you look at it especially when you look at Highfield Princess who won the six furlong group two she ended up on the fire side and seems to have a really good term of foot there I think the ground might be just be a little bit better over there so I think Bedford Flyer can get to the front and I think it's going to be a hard horse to get past I would be a little bit concerned if any more rain comes down he wouldn't want to get in too soft but I think he's got some very good form last time he bombed out at lip and well he missed the bike and just everything didn't go right for him I think he can bounce back today and at a flatter track which will definitely suit more I think at 11 to 1 if he gets to the front and gets rolling he should at least be able to hold on to a place at 11 to 1 now my second and final selection comes in the 3 o'clock now this is a very competitive race the favourite 6 to 1 which says everything about the field and I'm going to keep the faith with the Keith Dalgleish trained eight year old what's the story who has been rated much higher than a mark of 97 this horse has been up to 106 and has some very good form at York at this meeting last year it finished fifth over the mile off a mark of 106 and I think it comes into this nine pounds low which will definitely suit and I don't think it's in the worst form either his first run was in the Lincoln Handicap he didn't get the best of runs there under Callum Rodriguez that was off a mark of 101 and that horse wasn't given too tough of a time once the Callum Rodriguez knew the horse had no chance it just couldn't get through at any point and wasn't beaten too far in the end and then his next run after that was behind their uber progressive notre bell better who won pretty nicely at kempton it has been beaten since that but i think that is definitely that was in a pretty strong race and i think that form of that race still has worked out okay that was off a mark of 97 and it was on the all weather where this horse probably is better on the turf even though he does have a decent enough record on the all weather i think he's definitely a better horse on the turf so back on the turf today two pounds lower Callum Rodriguez takes the ride back at a track where he's done very well at in the past he's versatile ground wise tactics wise he could maybe force the pace or he could he can pretty much be sat anywhere so I think at 11 to 1 there's, this has got a very solid chance in a pretty strong race but do make sure to look out for bookmakers going more than however many places some are going four five I've seen so do shop around for the value but there are my two selections what's the story in the three o'clock at 11 to 1 and also in the first race Bedford Flyer at 11 to 1 but if you don't like my selections well make sure you comment down the winners of the first three races it's a little bit tougher than yesterday but it's horse racing at the end of the day who knows get them entries in to win 25 pounds and don't forget to like and subscribe to be involved and I'll see you very shortly for some selections on day three of York